This is One on One. We are honored to be joined by Sergeant First Class Harvey Craig, otherwise known as Sergeant Craig. And uh, he's an Army instructor at Irvington High School in their junior ROTC program, and also 2016-17 Essex County Teacher of the Year. Sergeant, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your support. So you work with young people every day, and you have encouraged them to consider the possibility of a military life, in large part because it changed your life? Correct. How so? Certainly, I graduated from Westside High School, and um, I didn't have many teachers. Or, or Cause I, it's in Newark, New in Jersey. In Newark, New Jersey, definitely right. right. That's right, South Orange Avenue. Right. And I really didn't have any of my teachers who spoke to me about college. So the military was going to be my uh, way to get out and go see the world. Mm. Did my 20 plus years, came back, uh, doing out to my time, found out about JROTC, said I'm coming home. I'm gonna come home and use what the Army taught me to help other young people. I'm a student of leadership. Uh, military leadership fascinates me. Most significant lesson you learned about leadership in the military life was, is? Wow. First of all, leaders must provide direction, motivation, and purpose. That's what I tell my cadets every day. Mm. Just because you're that leader, the one who's in charge and think you could scream and yell the most, that doesn't make you a leader. First, you have to give me the mission and the task. Tell me the purpose. Why am I doing this? Then you want to motivate me, make me, wa make me want to do it. And give me the direction. Give me some good, clear instructions on what I'm going to do. Mm. That's what leaders do. You know, it's fascinating. I'm reading about you. In 2014, a very personal and significant health care scare, you had a heart attack. Correct. In the course of your treatment, you're in seeing a cardiologist. Tell everyone what happens during wow. that period. Well, I had a heart attack in Irvington High School. Just got finished teaching my class. Wow. Uh, went in, had my surgery. Uh, come back, I'm seeing my cardiologist. And uh, they call my name. Then I hear a voice in the background, say my name, repeat my name after it. I said, wow, so we get up, they walk in there, here comes one of my students, Lorenzo Charles, one of my former cadet command sergeant major. Say it again, who was? Lorenzo Charles. All right. Said he was gonna be a doctor when we, when we had him in school. And this kid is now in the room with me and my cardiologist talking about my heart. I cried like a baby. Because? I, here's a kid who I had an opportunity to help. Here's a kid who kept his dream and he made it. And I just couldn't take it that he was there helping me. Uh, and that's what it's all about, leaving that footprint. You have no idea how many uh, people you'll have to footprint on, with, however you want to describe it, right? No. I, I that was just by chance you found that out? Just, just by chance. It meant a lot to you? It did. So it's interesting. Um, we have a video, part of uh, the Classroom Close-Up series. We're partners with the New Jersey Education Association to do this wonderful series called Classroom Close-Up. You've learned a little bit about the sergeant, and here is even more important information. Raiders, roll out! To me, JRTC is, is a segue from your teenage years to your adult years. There are skills that you're going to need as an adult that JRTC can provide for you. One of the greatest things I can say about JRTC, even though we're an elective, our kids learn so much. So we teach geography. Our kids learn financial literacy. Our kids learn history. We all know about English language, so they learn ELA. Math, they're on math. It's about academics to me, first and foremost. How many years have you been in Irvington High School? Uh, three years, sir. Three years. This is your last year. Yes, sir. But this is your first year in JROTC. Yes, sir. And this is the first year in high school you have made honor roll. Yes, sir. Many students come from homes where there's no structure. Our parents are so busy working, they don't have the time to give the love and attention and guidance to properly prepare their sons and daughters. We fill that vacuum to a great extent. I know a lot of young people, they might not have role models within their homes or even around them, like their friends might not be doing the right things. But Major Monroe and Sergeant Craig, they never, they never hesitate to set you straight. It's an amazing program and it builds character not only within the students in the program, but students throughout the entire building. They are the message for Irvington. You know, you read things in the paper and you hear about things happening in Irvington, but these students, they are Irvington and they're what Irvington is all about. Last year, I wasn't in GRCC. I just 
always used to be in the hallways and skip class and never really paid attention. But now, I improve my study habits by quite a lot. So B, B average now. In the senior class, we have probably five of our kids that's gonna graduate in the top 12. Top 12 is a big thing here in Irvington High School. Major Moreau and Sergeant Craig, the passion that they exhibit from day to day. It's not, I'm teaching a curriculum. Their, their goal is to teach students those lifelong skills, skills that's gonna help them outside of Irvington High School. Once the kids begin to understand that we are there for them and we care, they come around. It brings joy to my heart to, to do the job I do, yeah. Coming from an inner city, a lot of folks expect different things, or they expect the worst. My superintendent, she hears me say this all the time. I said, there's diamonds in Irvington. There's diamonds here. We just have to shine those diamonds, let the world see those diamonds shine. And that's what I care for, and that's what I want to do. I want to make them shine. What are you feeling right now? Wow, emotional. Emotional. Seeing um, some of those young kids are in the service. Uh, some of them are in college. Some of them are in SROTC, will be future officers. It just touched me. Just every time I see it, it gets me emotional. You've seen it more than once? I see those kids all the time. No, you've seen the video. video more yes. than once and still gets I, you. I share it every year to the incoming kids. The incoming freshmen, we share that video to let them know what the program is about. Young lady in there, her name is Berlene, I think. She said she was watching it go by and then she became a part of it. What's happening with her? Well, Berlene Julian is one of my company commanders. She's Bravo <laughs> Company Commander. She's doing very well, uh, one of the track athletes in the district. And um, she just changed her life. She said it herself because of ROTC. So to a fair number of people, Sergeant Craig, they think they know what young people in urban areas, Irving, by the way, it could be Irvington, it could be Newark, Jersey City, Camden, Trenton, the Bronx, Brooklyn, right. um, Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, wherever. Um, we don't know what these young people are capable of, but it's way more than what most people assume. That's right. That's right. You expect a lot of them, don't you? I do. You're tough with them? I am. With love? The kid, I am. The kids call um, my partner there. You saw Maisie Monroe. Yeah. We're like father and mother. So sometimes they, <laughs> other kids come at us. One of us is the father, one of us is the mother. But they know that we're real with them, and that's what the kids are say, that we're real. Sergeant, I started out by saying thank you for your service, and we, I'll repeat that, but... In this moment, more importantly, at, right now, thank you for what you're doing for these very talented future leaders of tomorrow in the Irvingtons of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Stay man. right there. Stay with us. We'll be right back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the Russell Berry Foundation, the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Georgian Court University, Summit City, MD, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, NJM Insurance Group, and by Fedway Associates, Inc. Promotional support provided by bestofnj.com and by NJ Biz. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.